fight fans this is ashley's corner and this video is basically just a fantasy fight of mine uh that i would like to see in the 140 pound division a fight that i think would be the most well i would say probably one of the most um entertaining and uh i would say the the biggest firefight meaning the most the most um action going on in one fight will be in between this man right here on the screen and this is gary antoine um, russell that fights at 140 pounds he has a great amateur record he's beat the lights of a lot of big names today like um one of which is boots jerron ennis that fights at 147 he beat him in the amateurs he beat a lot of people in the amateurs he's at, um he fought in the olympics as well um, he's a great fighter, at, and everybody knows he's a force to be reckoned with at this weight class. Um, I'm going to say his specs real quick. Is He's 14-0 and 0 at the moment. All 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's fought for 29 rounds. His knockout percentage is, of course, 100%. He's been pro for almost five years. He's a southpaw. He's 25 years old. He's 5'10". With the 69-inch reach fighting out of Capitol Heights, Maryland, he is Gary Russell's, one of his younger younger brothers. Um, he's coming off of his own stoppage uh, via um, retiring on the stool. Uh, it was sixth round, I do believe, in May, May 29th of 2021. Um, none of his fights went past four rounds until he went six rounds in his last fight. Now... I think the guy to fight, the guy that uh, would be able to last with him and to make a great fight, a very entertaining fight, and won't shy away from the act, the action with Gary Russell would be Cerebral Matisse or Matias. I'm sorry if I if I butchered his name, <laughs> but uh, he's been looking good. He's been looking solid. He's a very hard puncher in my opinion. At 140 pounds, that's one person that I see as of today, as of date, that was that would last in there with a Gary Antoine. So, um, like this is the fight, I think. This would probably be the, you know, the fireworks, the most entertaining, most action, you know, brutal fight, in my opinion. Uh, let me go through his specs in my uh, specs real quick. Um, he has 18 wins and one loss. He is 18 knockouts. He's fought for um, 85 rounds total. His knockout percentage is 94.74%. He's been pro for six years, almost, yeah, almost six years pro. He's 29 years old. He's 5'8", with a 71 and a half inch reach, fighting out of Puerto Rico. And um, he fought maximum in 2009, 2019 and he passed away uh shortly after that fight so rest in peace to him and um he lost to petros in 2020 by ud and he rematched him and today well yesterday january 22nd 2022 where he stopped petros in the ninth round via him retiring on his stool so he's a very hard hitter, just like uh, Gary Russell. Um, Gary Antoine Russell's a very hard hitter. Um, having 14 fights in all 14 stoppages. Gabriel has 18 wins and 18 stoppages, but he has one loss. Um, I see this being the firefight. Like, um, in the amateurs, Gary Antoine loved to fight on the inside and bully guys. I believe he can still do that, but he he really can box very well. Um, Matias, excuse me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but he can fight on the inside very well also, you know, um, and I just think that if, um, we're going to look at a fight in the future, uh, that's at 140, this is probably going to be the most entertaining one, in my opinion, that you're, you're really going to see two, two guys go to, go to war, you know, but, um, Motivation for Gary uh, would be that uh, uh, Matias is ranked number six in the WBC. 
and he's ranked number two in the IBF, and Gary isn't ranked at all in none of the sanctioning bodies. So, of course, you know, if you take him off the mat, then you would you get to be there and it's replaced, you know. So, yeah, I just think it will be, you know, entertaining. Just something to think about, food for thought. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know who you got in this fight. All right? Peace.